Hello everyone. Good evening. This is Miss JD. It's October 21st, 2020 and welcome to our daily stock market insights where I review all your requested stocks and uh, whatever is trending or are trending in the Philippine market. And um, thank you so much for those people who are consist consistently watching my insights. I hope I'm able to help you uh, one way or the other in your journey towards um, investing or trading in the Philippine stock market. And um, for today, before I get started, I'd like to have, invite everyone, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, I'm inviting you to hit the, uh, the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. Now, so I'd like to just um, take this time to recognize some of our consistent um, followers or uh, viewers of our program. And uh, here they have requested some of the stocks. So I, as promised, I will go through them one by one. And the first <clears throat> comment is from uh, Singto Singto. Thanks for this poll. Do you think BDO and Ali can go back to 89? and 29 prices respectively or we have to buy um to average down okay thank you okay so um before i answer you your question let me just go ahead and check the index first okay so what's interesting with how the index performed by the way i'm using a bollinger band and rsi as well as the volume as uh the three main indicators i use when i do my insights you know what's interesting about the market um Pretty much consistent to my <laughs> thumbnail yesterday the market is starting to become bullish showing some bullish signs over here so what's um i'm thinking now that we have uh, opened up right our bollinger band is starting to uh, widen uh, we are going to experience some more bullish movements and uh, it's just starting uh that's uh, my uh, two cents here it's just start starting in fact we just um uh, had in today's performance, uh, the market did a break out of the 6,168 level. That used to be our resistance. As you notice here, this used to be a resistance. And uh, when you uh, screen to the left, uh, each time this price level was hit in the past, uh, there is some rejection that was um, happening right there. And it became a support as well here. So now, what we are looking into is the possibility that we are going to have some more bullish movements, but definitely price will be fluctuating and uh, could also revisit and retrace before it continues to move higher. Overall, um, I think that we are already um, on our way or it's the road to recovery for uh, the stocks in the index, which... Um, represent the the health of the overall uh, market here in the country so now let's talk about uh ali so ali's price right now is around 32.5 so you wanted to know if it's possible for the price to go back to the 29 level um i'd say there could be a chance but my my thinking is that it is going to be a slim chance right now if it is going to retrace and if uh, we are right with our analysis um, if it will retrace i think it will just drop up to uh, this area around 3120 so um, your call overall we are just starting our uptrend now if you're interested in ali and you wanted to add more volume uh, try to haggle for um, a few cents. Uh, Thirty-one twenty would be a, a more feasible area to to revisit before it takes off again. Because uh, who knows? Tomorrow it could be there will be fluctuation, and then as, as near as you can uh, enter right at the thirty-one twenty-one level. And I don't think the twenty-nine area is going to be uh, uh, feasible at this point. Unless there's a one big negative news again that uh, will influence the uh, change in direction. But overall, we are now starting to show some bullish signs there. Next is <clears throat> BDO. Do you think BDO will go back to the 89 level? Let me see. Well, we had a gap up. 
but that's already filled by the wick here. 89. Well, this is still the MA20 line. Um, but I think before it even reaches this, we have a another possible support um, nearest to where we are at the moment. So the chances of this could be a little slim at this point. Um, if you want to add more, I think, oh, you said 89? Yeah, 89.98. So in other words, 90 is more feasible um, area uh, for this price to revisit. Overall, even if you want to enter between 89.98 to 93.95, um, probably somewhere in between could be a much better haggle. And um, right now what I can see here is that it is just starting, okay? The climb is just starting. So we really have no control if tomorrow this stock is going to do a gap up again or continuously move higher and higher. Uh, do you see this? This used to be a resistance area. And um, it actually reached the peak. So the ending price is the highest price for the day. So the chances of it moving higher by tomorrow is really high because um, sometimes when there's a wick that means there's a rejection but at this point nothing rejected at the uh, 94 area so um, chances are we will have another green um, possibly uh, in tomorrow's performance that's how i see bdo right now and it's just starting it's just the beginning of um, uh, the uptrend now you will notice as well that uh, we're nearing the overbought level, but definitely um, if the market is really bullish, please note that a price can stay at an overbought level uh, for an extended period of time. In the same manner, a price can also stay at the oversold area when it's really too bearish. So just uh, watch the market overall. Uh, my take here is that if you look at BDO, look, treat that stock as a stock for a long term. Three to five years, uh, in fact. If you can uh, manage, uh, if you can be very patient, uh, it will give you a better, better reward at that point. Okay, so that is for BDO. Uh, Yuri wanted me uh, to request, I mean, to review MY. He, uh, he said, Miss JD, request am I? Yung pinar request ko two days ago na FLI plan si Pumuporma na. Oh, nice, nice. Let me quickly uh, look at that as well. I already forgot what I, what I said about PLC and, uh, and uh, FLI. Okay, so how's MY? MY is also starting to show some recovery. Although it looks like there's a, a really strong resistance very near the current price okay so why am i saying um, that that is the resistance okay uh, as you can see here if you move to the left there's a uh, consolidation that happened right here each time that price is hit there's a rejection there's also a slight overshoot but it did not really sustain but this is a very noticeable uh, consolidation here okay this one too so <coughs> I therefore conclude that this could be a resistance now, given that um, the other prices or other stocks are also showing some recovery, uh, there's a likelihood or a big chance that MY is also going to follow the same trend. If you are to check this, volume here is already starting to show. Look at that. There's a big change in the volume. See that? There's a, an increasing volume. At the same time, we are already uh, at the 60s level. So that means momentum is starting to pick up at the moment. So if you want and you want to really be very sure of your action, two things here. You can wait for it to drop up to the MA20 line, which is around 722. Or you can wait for it to break out of the 780 uh, area. So we can even move this a little higher so that um, you can also accommodate this. So 785, that's your nearest resistance. If you see a red candlestick again forming at that area, uh, maybe you can lock in some profit. Or 
Another approach is you wait for it to start a one entire candlestick to be outside of the 785. That way we can confirm that it is already a breakout. Then that area you can enter. Somewhere here, for instance. Okay, so support the 724, 785 is your resistance. Let me quickly check uh, FLI. Ah, there. Nice. It's also starting to show um, some triggers uh, to the upside. So I really see that uh, this price is also going to move higher. PLC. PLC, same. Although there's a resistance over here. Just watch out for that. But definitely it's just starting to um, trigger some upper movements. And uh, hopefully if we, pri if we start higher than 33.50 by tomorrow, then for sure next possible movement would be uptrend. Look at that. The biggest, very, very big potential. Imagine how much it dropped from 160 now down to 0.33. So very promising. Next one is uh, Cebu Pacific from Ann Lim. Okay. Oh. So it looks like Cebu Pacific already had some rally. Um, in the previous days, it has a gap up over here. I hope it doesn't fill that gap anymore, but chances are in worst, worst comes to worst. Okay, um, if you want to be very, very conservative, wait for it to revisit your MA20 line. But definitely my sentiment here is that there will be some more um, profit taking or a decline in the price. So they mean the same. When I say profit taking, the effect of that is price is going to go down. When I say over, overbought, that means it is in this area. When I say overbought, a lot of people already bought that stock. And, uh, you know, when there's volume, when there's more people buying, it pushes the price higher and higher. And when it is higher, it also pushes the RSI upwards. And then when the price reaches this level, that is an overbought level. Pair that with support and resistance. For instance, it's overbought and it's showing at a resistance area. That would be your cue to start considering taking some profit. So what can I say for Cebu Pacific right now? There could be some more uh, selling that will happen. And when, it, when people are starting to sell, that means it will decline in price. So that's uh, the current standing. I see 38.98, nearest one, but 38.13. So two key areas to watch out for. If you see a green candlestick forming at this level, one whole candlestick sitting at the 39.14, uh, that's our cue as well, that it is going to bounce. But second drop would be 38.13. Next one is, oh, Gloria said thanks, Miss JD. Next one is Lilibeth, AXLM, DELM, and Pizza. AXLM. AXLM, oh. So this could already mean that we have some signs of um, weakness. You have a resistance right over here. And then you ended in today's market performance. We ended with a uh, doji. Okay. So what could happen next? Uh, we might have some more profit taking in the coming days. And might challenge our 270 level or 271 so it could challenge that the moment it breaks your m20 line uh, except more drops at that point so around 254 would be the next one but hopefully it holds and uh, bounces around 271 level okay so i'm just plotting it here so that you know the key levels um but right now i see it dropping 271 up to 271 or up to 253 it's an area, by the way, so it could be a little higher or a little lower. Next is DELM. 
Okay, DLM with 29 trades over here. Um, volume is so low. So yes, it's moving higher, but again, there could be just very, very minimal movements at this point uh, because there's not much volume in terms of trades. So if in case it drops, uh, let's check if it's going to hold around 484. Uh, that is what I'm seeing. If you're interested in this stock, don't rush. Uh, pretty much it's very close to where it is at right now. 484 could be a much better haggle compared to the 5 peso area. And uh, it could also continue to move higher because our uptrend is just starting to show off here. The next one is pizza. Pizza is giving us some signs of recovery. Uh, as you can see, uh, we somehow okay. Maybe we need one more candlestick to confirm that breakout. We are just about to trigger that breakout. And then uh, the next uh, resistance it'll challenge should be this key level, 6.95. I like the volume. See that? So if there will be more people buying it, then uh, the, the cue is it has to start higher than 6.40. Otherwise, if you see some se the sentiment going down tomorrow, chances are it will go back to your MA20, which is around um, 5... Uh, 37 or 592 yeah 592 see that if you screen to the left you have your resistance here and previously it was a support as well so there you have it interesting nice setups so it has been how many months of, uh, of uh, sideways for this stock you know at least well it really dropped you know it, even before the pandemic the sentiment is really going down but um, the fact that it has been on sideways um, the entire pandemic, I think this is a good story. Imagine if uh, during the pandemic, last March, we had even a further uh, decline. But it also declined there. Okay, so key level, 6.5. Five point ninety two right now. We need this to uh, break out of the six thirty seven or probably six forty. Then the next area you can check for your profit taking level is six ninety five. If you see some signs of weakness right there. Okay, Benjamin. By the way, guys, Benjamin also has a YouTube channel. Okay, for this talk, I see. Let me see. Okay, so just be a little careful here. Uh, we have been already climbing up so much. And uh, it's a third. Okay. We're still at the 52 week high um, area. So we don't really know. That's the interesting part when you are in the all time high or 52 week high. If um, we have reached that level, there's no resistance up there. So it will first establish a resistance and we really don't have an idea up to which level will that be. So um, even if it's showing over bought already, so probably check. Um, at the moment, one thing I can say here is that your confirmed resistance, nearest resistance that could potentially act as your future support would be 3.26. So if you have probably, so this is already the second day where you have uh, the price stop or reach at a common area. So this one, you had a wick that stopped at the uh, 363 and now it ended at 363. So who knows, it could mean that we will be resting for a while and continue to move higher. So the nearest resistance that will potentially become your support is the MA20 line, 3.26. MBT. MBT is also 
very near a possible resistance. But again, because banks are starting to become bullish, we really have no control. Tomorrow, it could even do a gap up, start around 42.89 or 43 level and start pushing the price higher. Uh, in the meantime, if you're going to look to the left, this is your previous resistance that could potentially become a support when we break that. Okay, there you have it. Next is MPI. MPI has been rallying for the past how many days? Okay, but right now, so when it went up, that was already a significant uh, increase. It dropped, but when it went up again, technically it's just within that level. And then uh, your RSI is already showing some decline in momentum. See that? Pre same area, but RSI is already way lower. So I see it dropping some more. Um, possible area where it could stop is around 3.75 hopefully we uh, just hold on to that level and continue to bounce higher but we have no control between today and in the coming days um, probably by before friday i see it really moving downwards with this kind of uh, um, candlestick the outlook is it could drop in the following days could be just worth one day or one to two days or until friday we'll see but 3.75 is the nearest support i can see at the moment and ideally we want to enter the support area double dragon is next nice see that very constructive bollinger band this was your cue guys this was our cue that it's already uh, starting to show some healthy outlook and um, the ultimate one is when we cross this path that was already what that was already our trigger and uh, right now we ended outside of the bollinger band coming from a constricted one so i really see the that in the coming days we will have some more bullish movements for double dragon uh, very nice setup here let me jump that down too The next stock, ABG, AT. ABG, okay, 34 trades. Um, we somehow started to cross the uh, MA20 line, but because the volume is not there yet, it, it's still possible that it could revisit the 750 or even 729 level so i am still plotting the support at this key area because uh there's not much volume there and uh partially it's only half or three parts of the candlestick uh, has been filled out or that is up higher than the ma20 line okay next one is at AT also we are already uh, a bit expensive technically yeah okay so even if um, we're not all the way up here but at this point uh, it is already on the expensive side so maybe what you can do here is first observe let us see if it will continue and sustain uh, a brand new support at the MA20 line. You can try that out. Uh, currently, we already triggered the upper band. So the nearest resistance could be here. In the short term, it has already uh, climbed up. Look at that. Okay, so we might probably have some breakdown in the price, but not that much. One thing I don't like about the stock is uh, you only have 73 trades. So even if the price level is already starting to show some of attractive levels but if there are no buyers or sellers you will still be stuck okay so try to take note of that 392 is your support 4.38 is your resistance Wilcon Wilcon um, we're still at the uh, we're below MA20 line so let us see if this key level will also hold this is our nearest support so why am I saying that 
uh, look at this. There's a slight overshoot here, but if you look to the left, uh, there are consolidations in the past at the same key level. 1510 being a support and previously a resistance here. So we will be consolidating, moving sideways potentially in the coming days before it takes off. 1510 is our nearest support. The next message came from uh, most of, from Lilabeth as well. She said most of the blue chip stocks are already flying. Mahirap bumili na baka maipit. Looking for the other blue chip with cheap price na hindi pa masyado lumilipad. Yep, actually some of the stocks we mentioned today are showing some promising key levels. One I can say is the double dragon in the alley right off the bat. Let's check out the other comments. Uh, Miss JD, some Aaron mentioned Miss JD, pahaba po ng MWC. Sure, let's check that out. <clears throat> Ayan. This is also starting to trigger the MA20 line. So hopefully if we will successfully cross beyond that line higher than 1446, then uh, we might see some more bullish movements uh, and challenge this key level okay there you have it that key area for now let's put this as your previous uh, this is acting as your resistance at the moment that's your MA20 line but see that so if you will have a red day tomorrow then chances are it's not going to look good you know why because this could already mean, so remember when we um, touched the MA20 line and then when it bounced, it created a lower high. And then when it dropped, it created a lower low. Because from here, this is what your previous low and we're much lower than that. So if tomorrow it does not break 1446, you are just within the downtrend channel. This is a basic... Uh, component or a feature of a downtrend stock see that so it might just go swing swing uh, downwards here but the story is going to shift totally if we start our price beyond 1446 okay yeah so there you have it i think uh we're good for tonight I, I'll see if I can record some more. Um, I just have meetings uh, right after this. Um, in the meantime, thank you. Thank you very much for continuously supporting Ms. JD. Um, let me know your thoughts or whatever uh, recommendations you'd like me to uh, also start recording and uh, um, preparing for you. Apart from this, let me know. I want to hear your thoughts because I really want to give uh, some more variety and uh, some other insights for you guys in the world of uh, the stock market and investing. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe and uh, the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. Bye-bye for now.